Okay, um, color maps have now been added. So to begin with, we can go to the nice point size and turn that off. Okay, so we've got um, we can normally color by bed bar, best bar, p pam, etc. If you left click, you go to mono cone, mono uh, color mode. So we can use the mouse wheel. We can go up through the scale. Um, the green all the way to red, right down to blue. It's quite a lot of mouse work, mouse wheel work. If you go to white background and go down one more, it goes black. Okay, so you get just a black, single black trace, or you can still go up through the colours as before. Um, if I turn off monochrome, mono colour mode, then we can look at the colour maps. So if we go to I just reduce the size of this a little bit. We bring up the color map generator, left click. Um, one thing about interacting with this, you have to be not associated with a visual. So right click on the desktop to dissociate it. So the way this works is you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got seven bands of where we can define the red, green, and blue. So currently it's one, nine, two, three. It's just naught to two, five, five. So if the three colours are the same, then it's going to be a grayscale or a white. So if I use my mouse wheel, I can up the value there. Um, I can look up the value of the green there. Uh, up the value of the blue. Maybe a bit on the green here. Down on the red, perhaps. Um, if you left click, then it allows you to you just just tap left. So I let, tap left click, um, let go. If we click it again, it lets it go. So that's that's setting the point of where. Um, the gradient stops because if you've got a value of green of 150 or something there then the, the it's a linear interpolation up to this point here and then back up or down to the next point so you can drag these wherever you want um, now to actually store this as a map this is currently a dynamic map uh, so if I quickly show you that if I right click right click and come down to this button here and I say click for dynamic if I put it to dynamic then this track is now colored in real time so if I obviously dissociate disassociate from the visual um, if I try to find one that makes it easy to see um, green is probably the easy one you can see it's very subtle um, and if I zoom in a bit on some data, perhaps. Okay, now dissociate. And if I uh, use a green bit, perhaps. It's very hard to see on this. <laughs> I've not picked a very good um, example. Is it that one, perhaps? There you go. So you see the green is dropping out there. I can perhaps up the red somewhat so you see how the color of this is changing because it's dynamic it's, it's on the dynamic basically the unstored um, color map um, so you see the blue coming in there now if you want to actually store this as a color map then you can first set the name so click there give it a name and say enter to store that name and then you say store current okay so if I turn that if well if I come back to this right click right click and down here turn off dynamic then you'll see we've now got two maps jet is there by default and this is the new one that I've, that I've named okay but if I then dissociate and make any changes here this is not going to change because this is now a stored color map I can go back to the dynamic if I like by just left clicking and then dissociate and we go it's changing there very slowly um, so essentially you can color this by either the track is one complete color and if in white mode you can go down through past blue to black or you can have it colored by any color maps that you create you can export and import color maps as well um, yeah, that's it.
Um, so yeah, that's the mono colour there. Just turn off the color generator. There you have it.